Good evening, everyone. You're tuning in with another session with the Empire Empress. And we're going to be talking about this thing that has been circling the media in Jamaica a lot. Students who have been locked out of school due to attire, um, due to not following rules and guidelines by different institutions, educational institutions. And so they're being sent home. Um, you know, just giving my views on this, always remember that YouTube videos and YouTube people, YouTubers, their channels are solely based on their opinions. Everybody has a right to their opinions. All right. So I am just going to give my opinion on the situation. I try not to get involved in drama because this seems like it's going to be an ongoing drama now listen people so i remember going to high school right and hemming up my uniform pinning it up so it can look shorter right because i just like the way it looks and you get attention and you get to show off your wonderful knees and your matey trample and all of these things right so <laughs> It is so funny that it's at this point in time that they're actually locking out students out of school. But honestly, people, honestly speaking, this has been happening for years upon years and it's just gotten worse. So one of the big things was the principal of Black River High who locked out the students. Um, I know that um, students have also been turned back um, at schools on the Western side also have been sent home. So this is my feedback on it. I am big on discipline, okay? Don't get me wrong. For me, I have mixed feelings about this situation. No, again, this is my opinion, right? Here goes my mixed feelings on this. So you get a school list, you get rules and everything, um, what you need to do in order to be ready for school come September morning, Monday morning, these are things. Now, we understand that the right thing to do as parents is to make sure that your child has on properly ironed uniform, matching shoes, well, not even matching shoes, follow the dress code given by the school in order, right, to meet the uniform guidelines. Why would we as parents take our child pants to a dressmaker to take in the leg, take in the foot, <laughs> cut it shorter, um, and things like that? You know why we do it? That's how we like to see our man. So we put our kids and sons in the same clothes. That's, that's just being honest. You like to see men in tight jeans and tight pants. And it's revolving right so now you start putting your child in that my son cannot go to school in crush khaki or a pants that's so tight that's going to be appealing to other people of the same sex or opposite sex like why do you need to do that why do we alter their clothes but yet we don't have the money to come up with their school books we don't have the money to pay their school fee, but we have the money to alter the, the, the school uniform. Now, we done thought for the whole year we're going to have to have lunch money, taxi fee, or back and forth, and etc. And you know how much money we spend altering uniforms to making them look a sexy and appropriate? I have to say this. A lot of the issues that we're having in our country is starting from the homes. It definitely is. Um... And as parents, we have to set guidelines as to what kind of men we are, we are, we are encouraging, what kind of men we are sending out there and building in society. We don't, you don't, your child doesn't have to have tight pants that if he bend over it, bust out, or it's clogged to his hips or, 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 or to his legs to go to school and get an education. We need to change the, the direction of how we are parenting. And how we're curving our children's mind, right? You don't need to do that. Business attire is what's needed for school. Professional attire is what's needed for school. Allow your child to go up and buy their own tight pants. Listen, my son can come to me and say he wants all these tight pants and things. 
um, Louis Vuitton Fendi belt and all of these things and he wants his pants tailored to cuff him up with me. Listen, while I'm alive, I'm going to do what I can afford and what's needed for you to go to school. No, if you grow up and you choose to buy tight pants and all this extra stuff and brand name, that's on you. But as parents, I think we add additional things to the list that we don't need to take on. But we need to be more focused on their saving and how they're going to get to school for the year. Need to start saving towards their subjects and their CXCs and, and all this additional stuff. We put attire into priority. Instead of putting them into tutoring and getting extra help to make sure they excel in school. Instead of focusing on them joining all these gangs that's going on and getting attention, getting home and, and, and all these additional things. Right? So now they grow up being conceited there into themselves. Oh, if I don't have those tight pants and I don't have this belt and that, I'm not doing nothing and I'm not wearing this. As parents, we create that situation. And we try to put our children in the body of a man that we want and admire and how we want to see our man. We dress our children how we want that man to be. As young man, business professional, you dr you're dressing your black and brown shoes to school, your dress school, your khaki pants nicely ironed. Listen, I have seen men with seam in at the front. No, my understand, so seam is an old thing, but it's business professional. Right? And if you don't want seam, nicely ironed. Right? Nicely pleated in the front. Tight pants is a privilege. How you can't feed your child but you have put them in a tight pants. I don't understand. Oh, you can't find the money for send them to school but them have a mohawk hairdo and the top of them head bleach out and them ears pierce and them a bling from head to toe. I'm just trying to understand. So, yes. It was a pretty interesting topic. That is my view. I think as parents, we go above and beyond for the unnecessary things in life. And then our children start to give us problems when they want what they can't get. Remember, you know, when we start with these little things, their needs become bigger every year. And we feel like we have to fulfill it. And when we can't fulfill it, that's when they go out there and they do these things and become murderers, criminals, and thieves to get what they want. You don't want to break your child in a lifestyle like all I can wear is Jordan, all I can wear is Gucci. And you don't want to start that. Rules are there to be followed. And everybody who goes to school in Jamaica knows that, especially the schools that are highly rated, they expect their students to come to school looking a certain way because it's a representation of the institution. All right, so that's my, that's my feed on that. Locking a child out and tying the gate. I don't like that. That is ignorant. There has to be a system in place. If you come to school and you broke the rules as a student, you get a warning, a suspension. I'm sending to call your mom and we're going to have a discussion about this. Or your dad and we're going to have a discussion about this. Right? We're going to talk about this. It's clearly stated here that these are the rules for the school. If you can't abide by the rules, you need to go somewhere else. Ba ba ba. We won't be able to cater to the needs of your child and so forth, right? All right. So you have a discussion with the parents and you have them sign a warning or you suspend the child or whatever it may take. They come back to school with the same thing. Then you lock them out. But you cannot just lock out a child based on their parents action their parents allow them to leave the house that way so you need to have a meeting with the family and the parents and the child and let them know if you're not happy with the rules of the school then you need to take your child somewhere else you give them a warning and you give them a suspension and you give them time to fix it right because remember if you give me a time and listen people always remember now understand that a lot of us out there are educationally inclined and intelligent some of these parents cannot read they're ignorant they don't read and they're pushing their child to go to school so that they can have a better life a better education be honest so sometimes when they find lunch money to send them to school or money to pay school fee and books and taxi it's like a waste of time they're just turning around and coming back no 
I understand, yes, they broke the rule, but as children, we used to break a lot of rules, but we deserve warning. We deserve a second chance. Now, after that second chance and the third one, then you lock them out because now you have sufficient documentation that you have spoken to the family about this and the family is refusing to comply with the rules of the institution. And not only this, this is a bigger picture, right? So you find some children coming to school who are poor and they cannot afford these things. So now it's like... If you're not coming to school looking a certain way, the people of the top-notch class, them call themselves top-notch class, right? Because they dress a certain way and they have the swag. They're teasing the other ones who cannot afford to alter their pants, who cannot afford to do these things. It's like you're a nerd. It's just like a child who can afford contact lens to somebody who have these big old thick glasses that we used to call four eyes, right? They tease them because they cannot afford it. And so it's a, it, it's a lot. And then you have people in school. Now you have the cool group and you have the nerds. And it creates a lot of problems. So as parents, we need to understand why everybody needs to be on the same dress code line. Everybody needs to be on the same plate. And that's it. We cannot alter rules and do things how we want. If you want to see your young man in tight pants every day and all of these things, you need to go find a man to do that. I'm just sorry. Rules apply and we have to abide by that. But the locking out and keeping children out... No, you don't. A child is locked out and you're sending them out there. You're making them angry. You're sending them out there to go in the streets and go experiment or do other things. And if my child don't come home safe to me or return to me, it's a problem. Because as a school, you should be calling me and reaching out and say, at least I'm sending your child home or can you pick up your child and give me a warning at that point? No, that's the ethical way of doing things. Now, I know a lot of people are not going to agree with this video, and I probably will be bashed on it, but everybody is entitled to their own opinion. And that's it. Let's be reasonable. Let's be reasonable. You have the kids that go to school just to look cool and get attention, and you have others there in their bell foot pants and, and, and khaki, and the one them was short and them parents, them are wearing the same khaki clothes now from last year, and the same uniform from two years ago. Do you know how much, how, how that influenced other children? How, do, how does it cause separation and bullying in schools too? Because your parents can't afford for you to do all these things to your uniform and my parents can't. It's like you're an outcast. And that is not cool at all. So we want to make sure that we are being consistent. And if we can't follow the rules of the school, then we need to homeschool your child. Institutions don't need to change their rules to accommodate parents. Parents need to teach children to follow rules in order to be successful in this life Because when they go out there and they get a job There are gonna be rules they have to follow and in order to make your money You have to follow that company rules. So if the company say you're gonna wear shorts That's what you're gonna wear if the company say open foot pants with polo shirt and your shirt has to be tucked in That's what you have to wear because you're making your money and you have to teach your children at this point in the game that rules were meant to be followed you do what you want to do on your own personal leisure time. You don't break rules and expect that that's how it's going to get through life. And that's my feedback on the situation. We have to curve our children. And that's why our children have the mentality the way they have it. That's, that's what it is now. And that's it. So as parents, we really, 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 and be careful of the men that you're bringing in your home around your children. Be careful of the things that you're wearing around your child, ladies. Because if you're going to work every day in a mini skirt, I'm telling you, I went to Jamaica and I see some outfits going to work. If I was an employer, I would be turning them around. The skirt is so short. No, excuse me, maybe because I don't have a body to put in a short skirt, you're going to hear I'm hating, but that's not the situation. It's a level of professionalism. So if your daughter see you walking around every day looking like a hooker, they're going to feel like it's okay for them to go to school and look like a hooker. I'm just keeping it 100. And that's what we do. You can go to school looking nice and neat and beautiful in a nice ironed uniform and it doesn't have to be short or hemmed. Who send their child to school in crush-up clothes unironed? What does that say about you as a parent? Understand that anything your child leaves the house in is a representation of you. Your child is a representation of you. The way you behave and your child behave is a representation of you. So I want you to really think about that. That's just my feedback on the situation. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe. You know, a lot of people are not going to uh, agree, but that's just the Empire Empress outlook on the situation. 
I feel like the school was wrong and also as parents we need to make adjustments and teach our children the importance of following rules. Rules are something they're going to have to follow throughout their life. And even when they own their own business, you're going to have to go by your customers' rules. So let's teach them to follow policies to the best and to be the best young man and woman they can be. That's what we want to instill in their head. Make sure you're representing yourself in a professional manner at all times. At all times. Your appearance says a lot about you as a professional. All right. Thank you guys for screw for for. <laughs> thank you guys for subscribing and tuning in. Have a wonderful evening. All right. Thank you so much. Don't forget share the love and give some feedback.